So uh, my name is uh, Chris Downey. I'm 31 years old. I'll be 32 in May. Uh, for my military career, uh, I started off in uh, 2000. I signed up uh, April 5th as a uh, aviation systems technician, basically work on aircraft. Uh, within a year, I got involved in EOD, which is the bomb squad, the uh, explosive disposal. And uh, basically, since that point on, I've been doing that that job. Um, I was with a unit called the AT, which is Aerospace Engineering Test Establishment. Uh, and with that unit, I also deployed with uh, 2 CR, which is a combat engineer regiment. And that's who I deployed with. It was on May 3rd of 2010. Uh, I was deployed with uh, the EOD teams overseas in Afghanistan, uh, basically in charge of getting rid of IEDs. So when they would find them, we would go out and get rid of them to hopefully save lives and injuries. Uh, on that particular day, we uh, got called out to a call, and uh, we'd spent all day doing what we do. Um, unfortunately, when we were all done, uh, we were on foot. We had to march back to where our vehicles were. Uh, I'm not sure on the distance. Some people tell me it's a kilometer and a half, some people say it's two kilometers, but it was a good distance. And about 45 minutes into our walk is when we were hit by an IED. Uh, when the uh, blast went off, uh, the way I remember it, uh, was uh, saying something to Craig who was standing right in front of me, just some kind of little joke that we always did or something. Uh, then the blast went off, uh, and my memory of it is it went completely silent. There was no noise. Uh, I felt like I was on fire. Uh, every muscle in my body tensed up as tight as it possibly could. Uh, and then uh, it felt like a long time. It was only a few milliseconds. And then uh, next thing I remember is hitting the ground uh, extremely hard, and all the noise came rushing back. The injuries that I sustained from the blast are my uh, right eye, as I lost it completely. Um, all my teeth are uh, artificial. Uh, I've had a lot of reconstruction to my face, my ear, right arm, right hand. Uh, I was burnt just about everywhere. Uh, shrapnel wounds everywhere. Uh, collapsed lung. Uh, uh, my left eye was bruised severely. They weren't sure if I was actually going to see it again and I went from 195 pounds to 135 pounds in two days. Uh, right from the get-go, I had five medics that were completely on my side, giving me little goals, little competitions to just keep me going. Uh, they knew I loved motorcycles, so they told me right away, even if you have one eye, you can still ride a bike. I grabbed onto that, and that was my, my motivation. I stayed with that. Uh, once I got back to Canada and Ottawa, same thing, my entire family basically mobilized to Ottawa to be with me the whole time I was there. So I just fed off their energy. I didn't want to be down in front of them. I didn't want to give up in front of them, nothing. So that just pushed me, pushed me, pushed me, pushed me, pushed me. I'd say probably the, one of the biggest things I learned from, from starting on the training and getting this expedition is uh, it's more like a relearn. I, I've kind of re-sparked the passion I had for this kind of activities, you know, going out and, and just going on a hike, going on snowshoeing or all that kind of stuff. I kind of lost it a little bit after the injury. And this just re-sparked the whole thing, you know, going to the gym all the time, eating properly all the time, just all the stuff I loved, it, it just brought it all back. And then I have this passion now that's burning like crazy, which I was missing. And so I needed that last little bit, and this has been providing it right from day one. And that's from the interview, that's all it was. Here's the interview, and from there I just, I've been riding a roller coaster on it. I love it.